Well, I'm asking for Saturdays off from now on. <laughs> Got a good crowd, 100 and 120 something people. It's 80 degree weather, couldn't ask for any better. Did a part of the music video this morning. Gonna finish the rest, gonna have a blast with this crowd. Uh, today's gonna be the first day in front of customers that we're gonna get Baco and Siren out, the La Liga and the Talagas. So uh, it'll be an interesting show. We're gonna have some fun. Third time out here, not too bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the only male low liger in America, and I have the only two male liger, low ligers in the entire world. The other one was just sent to the Crown Prince of Dubai for his private breeding collection over there. This right here is a Taliger. Okay, what a low liger is, is he's three quarter lion, one quarter tiger. So he actually has a lion father and a liger mother. For almost 30 years, people believed that ligers were sterile. The problem is, is they're not sterile. They have to grow up with their mate in order to breed. So it takes five years in between each step. So that's how come nobody in the world does it because there's absolutely no money involved in doing this. It's all research and seeing what we can come up with. Okay, so this right here is a toe liger, okay, which is a tiger and a liger. Right, and we are the only ones in the world that have these as well. And we'll explain a whole bunch more of this to you as we go throughout your tour today. But this right here, both of these, nobody's ever seen one of these full grown. So it's going to be kind of a mystery to see how big they get and what they look like when they're full grown. The big difference between Siren here, because she is a, a Taliger, she has more spots than a Tiger that has. Okay, here in a little bit, you're gonna see a yellow Taliger. It looks a little bit more like him. But this cat right here just turned a year old. The big difference between hybrids versus purebreds is they grow faster and they never stop growing. They have what we call an epic gene. They're born with an epic gene, which means they will never stop growing. All right, so, you give us a few minutes to uh, get these put back in the cage. We'll get on with our program. Okay, all right, so for the next two hours, I'm gonna put you in my world, all right? It's pretty crazy in here. <laughs> all right, so for the next two hours, ladies and gentlemen, we are adding a new thing to our program today. So it's gonna take me a couple minutes to get in with five more big tigers, okay? So you're gonna be the third group to ever see this go on. So if you uh, let us do all the work, you have all the fun, okay? Eric, I mean, William here is going to be your partial tour guide, and we will see you on the tour. Yeah. Hey guys, my name is William. I'm one of the caretakers here. Uh, and part of my main responsibility is to take care of the babies here. I take care of the baby bears, the baby camel, the baby kangaroos, and the baby tigers. And you're all going to get to meet my babies today. We're going to have some fun. But one thing is very important. We are going to have a uh, break station about halfway through. We're going to give you guys some cold water and a cracker and some honey. But if, before then, if the heat starts getting to you, please let me know. If you start getting nauseous, your nose starts to tingle, anything like that, please let me know before we have to call an ambulance. Because I know it gets hot. We work in here every day. And we know how it gets. So if you start getting upset, you know, you feel like the heat's getting to you, please let me know. And that way we can get you into a cool area, get that core temperature down, make sure everybody's all right. We're going to have some fun today. How's that sound? Yeah. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly make our way right over here to the middle of the big arena here so we can start our tour, guys. Let's go for a walkabout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this facility here is involved, actually this refuge here is involved in the Rare Species Fund, which means we spend, send a percent of all the income from our visitors here to help in our endangered species and preserve their habitats. Our park director, Joe Zodek, right here, has been working with animal ambassadors for over 23 years. And he's always believed in his own research, which was just verified recently by Dr. Intel of the Rare Species Fund, as well as the American Cancer Society. So for over 12 years now, Joe has had the belief that the world started with only one tiger. That would be the saber-toothed tiger. 
that existed about 360 million years ago. And during the last melting process, these animals got trapped on different continents. And over time, they've evolved through the shape, the size, color, and the species as we know them today. So for Joe's own wonder, he created this captive continent right here where he could allow a baby male lion to grow up with a baby female tiger. And uh, they grew up together and knowing each other as adults, they made it and they gave birth to four female liger cubs. Now with liger cubs, and knowing now that there must be some fact to his belief in his research that the two species could breed and produce healthy cubs, but one tan instead of orange, the question grew, could he take this one step further and try to create a saber-toothed tiger without any human interference? So he obtained a white tiger male to grow up with the liger females. Everyone said, the scientists all said that the ligers would be sterile, never be able to breed. But four more years later, the world was in shock when the first ever tiger was born. Now knowing these two amazing animal ambassadors were born healthy, but without a growth hormone, that they would grow larger than any other cat on the planet. The looks of the saber-toothed tiger started to evolve in these, in these two animals. So now Joe is trying for the final step of this research, and that is at about the age of uh, four years old now, he's trying to breed back with a female lion. And what this should end up doing is producing a cub with no stripes at all on a tan body, and therefore producing an animal ambassador that can speak for the animals from 360 million years ago. As it stands today, there are only six tigers in the entire world. Our facility, we have three of them. We have sent uh, a couple down to Florida and one down to Texas for a breeding exchange program. And you gotta admit, it's pretty amazing to sit here and look at these animals that evolved from 360 million years ago, all because of one man's belief in how the animal world began. And again, achieving this without any human interference. And if you guys would like to continue, you follow William right down the trail. We'll head on back for a walkabout.
you go. There's the counterman standing behind the camera going five, four, three, two, one. He don't know how to do it quite <laughs> either. He just throws it out there. <laughs>